Popeye was released by Nintendo in the arcade in 1983 and was ported to several consoles, including one of the launch titles for the Famicom. But the version I'll be talking about is the Atari 2600 entry. If you're aware of the cartoon the game is based on, it's not hard to imagine that you play as Popeye. The antagonist is Bluto, or Brutus as he was later called, and the damsel in distress is Olive Oil. In fact, the original intention was to use these characters for the game that turned out to be Donkey Kong. But due to the inability to get everything licensed in time, Nintendo had to develop original characters. So Mario and Donkey Kong were born, and we all know how that went. Once Nintendo did get the licensing for the Popeye characters, they developed a different platformer to utilize them. Although you do have to use the term platformer loosely, since you can't jump. It's about as faithful as it possibly can be to the arcade game. All three of the stages are there, and the gameplay maintains most of the functions of the original. The goal is to collect the shit olive oil tosses down, and you've gotta collect them before they hit the bottom of the screen where they fall into the water and start drowning, I guess. After a short period of being in the drowning phase, the item will completely drown and you lose a life. So you gotta keep your eyes at all times on Bluto, the bottles that come at you, and for the bottom of the screen in particular for the shit that olive oil tosses down. The shit that she tosses depends on the stage. It's hearts in the first stage, musical notes in the second, and in the third and final screen it's X's, which represent what the manual refers to as smooches. In the original game you caught the four letters which spelled out help. I guess they felt like cutting corners by streamlining it down from four distinct sprites to one. Other cut corners were the graphics, which is necessary in every arcade to Atari transfer, but at least you know what you're looking at. The characters are about as recognizable as they're gonna get on the 2600. Bluto tosses beer bottles, or whatever his weapon of choice is, which you can thwart off by punching, and the otherwise invisible sea hag will also toss said beer bottles at you. The vultures from the pirate ship stage have been omitted from this port, but at least they kept the trampolines in stage 2. The big payoff, of course, is the spinach power-up, which you can only use once per stage. As you would expect, it basically awards you with invincibility, and you get free reign to batter Bluto into oblivion momentarily. Only downside to this is that Olive Oil's items freeze in midair and float across the screen horizontally for some reason. But it's always a good idea to utilize the spinach in case you're trapped in front of Bluto, or you could actually use the item freezing functionality to your advantage, in case you have too many that are in danger of drowning, so it's not entirely a downside necessarily. Either way, you're going to want to use the spinach in every stage, if not for anything other than the satisfaction of smashing that dickhead across the screen, and to hear the pretty good version of the Popeye theme. All in all, this is a pretty damn good port of the classic arcade game. I Popeye the Sailor Man I Popeye the Sailor Man I fall to the finish Cause I eat my spinach I Popeye the Sailor Man